Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor. Today we are continuing our little mini side quest excursion around the Artemis Tau cluster. So we just finished in the Sparta system, now we are going to Macedon. And I believe... I believe this is where we will have a little run in with something relating to a diplomat. Porlin we can survey. Matriarch's writing. So I think that just finished off the Matriarch's writings for us. Very exciting. I'll double check that just to be sure. Check the asteroid belt. There we are. Metallic asteroid. Light metal, excellent. One more planet to check. Fargulus. Or Fargillus. Gas deposit. I think we're good on the gas deposits at this point. So, Sargila. Let's see what mysteries Sargila opens up for us. And, yet again, going with my girl squad. I don't particularly find Garrus that useful in this game. I love him in Mass Effect 2, um, but I don't really find him to be that useful in this game. I mostly care about developing the relationship with him in this game. That's my main focus always. All right, yes, that is what I was thinking. So I'm going to go very slightly south first, just to um, get us to the bottom of the planet or the bottom of the area that we can explore the bottom of the art op operational area as uh, Joker puts it operational area simply being what he calls the area that we can explore not that he cause calls this the bottom of the operational area just to be clear. <laughs> but this way, can get that quick little survey for minerals taken care of. And if I really wanted to be like super deliberate and super precise and stuff, I could actually look up planets for the types of minerals that I need right now. But I'm not going to do that. I. I'm not anti-guidebooks or guides of any kind. In fact, I mean, if you watched my Assassin's Creed <laughs> 2 playthrough, you know that I made sure that I was finding every all of the feathers and stuff by using a map. So I'm definitely not anti-guides or anything, but in a game like this where the exploration really is a critical element of the game. I don't see it like un the only reason I would grab a guide specifically is if I'm like I'm missing this one impossible to find thing and I just can't find it. I can't remember where it is and then use it for that. I would not use a guide to keep track of how many heavy metals and light metals and rare earths I I have. Just because as you explore planets in the game, you're going to fill those up. And ultimately, that's kind of what I discovered about the feathers in Assassin's Creed 2 was if I just really explored the map and used my ears listening for the audio cues of where of when things are nearby, I probably would have been able to find them all without a guide very easily. This, I believe, also is a Matriarch's writing, so we're definitely going to be good on Matriarch's writings at this point. Because I'm pretty sure I only have one or two left to find. There we are. Let me check that, actually. Yep, we are done with um, the... 
Matriarch's writings. So, that's very exciting, actually. Where did they go? There. Yeah, alright. Minerals. We're good on light metals. Alright. We only need a little bit more on metal on rare earths and heavy metals. That's great. We are good on ID tags. Only three more leak medallions. Only two more uh, Turian emblems. And only one more Prothean artifact, so... It'll be interesting to see if what side quests I don't end up doing based on how because I'm probably going to try to go to um to Ilos as quickly as I can honestly kind of do the whole like try to do things in a pathway going to Ilos as much as I can. Sweet. So, we are ultimately going over there, but we'll go a little bit further north just to make sure there aren't any more minerals for us to find. Oh, no, nope, nothing from the look of it, so we'll just work our way east then. I do hope to get everything with, um, Admiral Kahoku done at least. That I'm hoping for. I'll be interested to see if anything, if stuff with Dr. Michelle expands, because there technically is a little bit of crossover between everything with Admiral Kahoku and Dr. Michelle. Alright. Bye bye, sniper. Oh, I missed. Snipers have no health. It's... It makes sense. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, get these stupid snipers taken care of. There we go. Oopsie. That was smooth. There we go. There we go. Oh, too close. There we go. There we go. Just have a few on the other side now. There we go. Should be one more. Where are you hiding? There you are. Bye bye. And yeah, I'll do the quick repair since we can. And I keep forgetting that I can repair and move at the same time in this version. So glad they changed that for Legendary Edition. But here we go. In we go. And let's see what we are dealing with. Do we have any movement? We have a little bit of movement. Not much though. I think we should be getting somebody coming over this way soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. There we go. There we go. Oh, boy. Alright. All right, um, let's uh, get immunity on me and Ashley. Let's 
It's always interesting when enemies do this thing where they don't appear at all and don't push forward. It's quite irritating in my opinion. It's Thank you. There we go. Come on. There we are. Got another sniper. There we go. And now, we should just have... Oh, there we are. Whoa. She warped me. There we go. Awesome. Nicely done. Yeah, the one, 256, that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully we'll get some better quarrying armor, please? Nope. It really just wants me to have human armor. I swear. I think I'm also getting a fair amount of Krogan armor. Which is... <laughs> Heartbreaking. <laughs> All right. See if we have anything over here. Doesn't look like it. And then here, this is where we're going to get some information. Um, see what we're at after this. Oh yeah, I'm still doing fine. I'm still doing fine. You discovered evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and Nasana Dantius, an important ambassador on the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Sounds like a plan. There we are. Let me just... Also, take a look here. See how much money we have. That's fine. We have a lot of money. We have almost five million. So, let's get back to the Mako, finish exploring the planet, and then we'll go to the next system. And that'll finish up the Artemis Tau cluster primarily for us. We'll just have a little bit more to do in getting Liara. Yep, it does not want to let me step up at all. I don't know how they wanted to fix that but they've made it very hard to do the step up thing in this version of the game that is for sure all right so we are going to continue east for now hopefully not too difficult a trek overall obviously we do have a bit of a mountain there, which is why I'm going a little bit further north before we go properly east. So I'm hoping that I might be able to get us going better directionally. There we go. Come on really. It just managed to position itself perfectly so that there was no traction to be gotten at all. Go as far east as we can. And then we'll turn south. All 
right. You can see we're not too off track for getting that debris. I can tell that there really is a big difference in the process of getting upgrades and stuff. I'm, I definitely feel like I'm getting m more better upgrades as the game is continuing compared to the original version. There we go. Whoops. Of course I managed to do that. Yeah, I'll do Omni Gel. I'll have to do a certain degree of reducing to Omni Gel just to make sure that I <laughs> have enough Omni Gel to do stuff. There we go. Obviously we went into the southwest corner already. So just a little bit further that we have to go to finish off this planet. And hope that we get our last couple of minerals that we need. There's one. Let's go a little bit further down. There we go. Now we can make a straight shot for this mineral. And I believe that should finish us off for the planet. There we are. Oh, come on. Doesn't like how slanted I am. Really? This is stupid. There we are. Magnesium. Come on. That'll be a light, which we don't need any more of, but we get more money, which is always good. I'll go a little bit further, just to make sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. A little bit further, just to be absolutely certain I didn't miss anything in that first bit. And this area should be right around where we started the planet on. So, back to the Normandy. And as you can see from this additional planetary, ex planetary exploration that I'm doing, it doesn't take long to search these areas on the planets that you are able to explore. It really doesn't take much time at all. It takes a little bit of patience. But it doesn't take much time. Salamis. Nope. Proteus. More than 90% oceanic cover. Wow, okay. I don't need a gas deposit. Thank you, though. Check the asteroid belt. Nothing in the asteroid belt. Lame. Circe. Another gas deposit. Nausicaa. Okay. So, I guess we will be landing on Pharos. Interesting. Like, we have two different planets named Pharos, spelled completely differently. Oh, we're just surveying there. I oh, got our interior insignia, so that means only one more insignia for us. Hold on. Does that mean we have nowhere to land on this planet? Uh, in this system? Did I not check you? No, I checked you. Huh. Maybe we don't have access to, to it yet, or something. I'm intrigued. All right. Well then, I guess we're going to Nosos, and we are going to start our little adventure to go after Liara. So, let's see how this goes. There 
where we are. I like metallic asteroids. Nice, a heavy metal. Theorem, that's where we're going. Zakros. Our many. think so. Doesn't look like it. Well, Arcanus, or Arcanes. Another gas deposit. Yeah, the, the number of gas deposits that you have to find compared to the number there are to survey is absurd. But let's get on to Therum. And... We're going to start our trek for Liara. I was not anticipating this. I, I, I suppose there is a possibility that I just haven't unlocked whatever narrative beat needs to be unlocked for me to have access to whatever it is in the Athens system. But, all right. Ooh. There is so much more detail on this planet yeah, now. Up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. All right. We're going to go to it, Joker. Also, just a warning, not that we're going to actually reach Liara this episode. If we do, I'll be amazed. Um, but, uh, when, uh, just a warning that when I see Liara, my heart is probably going to melt a little bit because she is my favorite and I have been struggling <laughs> with not having her on my team yet and I miss her and, um, yeah, <laughs> just be ready for me to be a little giddy <laughs> when we actually get to her. Because that, that's probably going to happen. That That is probably definitely going to happen. Got some heavy weapons, it looks like, off in the distance. And getting some dropships. We're going to give us a couple of these dudes. There we go. Got one taken care of. I missed that one. There we go. The basic armatures are very easy to beat. It's the colossi that are a pain. But we should be able to get a good ways going on the planet at this point. I'll be interested to see how different this fight is. Given how much higher level I am. Because I have never been such a high level when completing this mission. I because it's always been the first this mission I no do. Go. They have height and cover. That they do, but we are taking care of them, Ashley, don't worry. Alright, so we got those dudes taken care of. Then I'll go this back way. How far do I have to go before that? There we are. There we are. I was hoping that that would still block the blast. Alright. A Geth Juggernaut, huh? And literally all that comes to mind for me is the every time I see Geth Juggernauts, 
all that comes to mind is um, the bit in which one is it? It's uh, X Men X Two, I think, where the Juggernaut goes up against Elliot Page's character. I'm pretty sure that was Elliot Page in that movie, anyway. I could be misremembering. Um, but I just, it, all that comes to mind is him going, I'm the juggernaut, bleep. Um, <laughs> and I realize I have occasionally s sworn on this channel, but I am trying to generally not swear as I play as much as I can. All right, let's, uh, let's get an overload on you. Excellent. Yeah. Wow. I, I... Now I'm wondering how much level scaling is happening. Just because, wow, I'm very, very easily defeating these guys. And I'm not completely overpowered with my upgrades. In fact, I think that I have better guns and stuff that I could be using and better upgrades that I could be using at this point. I am going to continue to get every thing that I can though, just because I want to have as much stuff to sell as possible. I will probably have to do some reducing to Omni Gel. But that's fine. I can deal. There are worse things than having to reduce some items to Omni Gel. Alright. There we go. Whoopsie. That was a fail. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, I'm officially in the 290s for my items. So, at this point, I think I will have to go through and just reduce some stuff to Omni Gel, which I will do very quickly. Um, let's see here. Right. There we go. How do I? 
there we go. Oh, that's a lot of Omni Gel. All right, so I just now have over 300 <laughs> Omni Gel. And I basically just removed everything that's level seven or below. Nothing too crazy. Just a simple little way to get a stuff down as quickly as possible. Come on. There we go. Here's our other one. There we go. Nice and easy to take out from a distance. And I think I'm going to have this episode go a little bit long. Just so that I can get pretty close to the point where I will be actually making the final push to Liara. Um, nope, got another dropship. Oh, there we are. That's a sneaky one. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. There we go. There we go. Now you're in a nice spot for me to actually get good shots off on you. Thank you so much. <coughs> Pardon me. Thank you so much, little armature. There is a Colossus here, though. And I know from my little trial playthrough that I was doing, slash my, my trial playthrough, I say. It's, it's my for fun playthrough that I started. That's all it is. It, it's just my for fun playthrough that I started. Um, but I do know that this Colossus will actually move. It doesn't just stay put. But right now, we're getting rid of these guys. Oh, yep, you can see it's working its way around. It's slowly working its way around. Let's see if I can thread the needle, as it were. It's a little terrifying how much the Colossi move in this version of the game, because they are so much more dangerous now because of it. There we go. Get that out of the way. And on we go. Bye bye Colossus. You were a worthy adversary. I will give you that. You were definitely a worthy adversary. And I think basically where I'm going to go to is when I have to leave the Mako behind. That's what I'm thinking. Which is pretty close now. Oh. I thought I remembered there being a point where there we go and I managed to avoid that rocket I appreciate that thank you game even though I drove straight toward it I will always take weird little moments like that they bring me much joy much joy I can speak Now I'll be curious to see if the game forces me to go straight back to the Citadel after I collect Liara at this point, just because technically getting her is the last remaining loose end before the mission to go to Ilos is a thing. That is technically the last bit that I need to do. So, oh nice, I was not anticipating getting all three with one shot. I appreciate that. Thank you, game. 
But here is where we have to leave our trusty Mako behind. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. Hey, they put an autosave. Amazing. Um, but until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I'll see you then.